All right, this is the chaos I normally live under. Um, you probably haven't seen it this messy, but this is this is kind of a normal state of affairs. So when I do the um, videos, I try to make them coherent and put them all together. I film things on different days. I film things weeks in advance. Um, and so I'm usually working on several projects at once because I'm waiting for parts or I've got a new idea. And uh, most of the time I can get my desk cluttered, un uncluttered. Sometimes I just want to do something really quick and I just kind of leave it cluttered. So here it is cluttered. So I had a, a viewer ask me about um, the temperature coefficient of a particular circuit. And I said, well, I don't have an oven. I really couldn't test that. And I thought, well, wh why don't I have an oven? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, so I had some parts. Um, so I was given a box uh, by a viewer. Thanks, Jay. Um, and so I'm going to turn my, my box into an oven. Uh, that's my, that's my uh, repurposing of this box is to put, make it into an oven. And, um, I have a, a temperature controller that's been, been sitting on my shelf for a very long time. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I know I didn't pay money for it. It came for free somehow. <laughs> and so I have it, uh, the green is the current temperature and the bottom is the set temperature. And so I'm currently measuring 102 degrees and I have a set value of 100. Okay. And so when it cools off, um, then a light will come on saying that it's uh, heating and it'll, it'll, it'll do a loop. Um, so what am I heating up? Uh, yeah, it just clicked there just for a second. Um, I'm heating up this vise. <laughs> so I have a, a heating element and a thermistor uh, crunched together in the vise. And so I'm, I'm, I'm locally changing the temperature. I, I can feel it's just a little bit warm, right? 100 degrees, this is Fahrenheit. So 100 degrees Fahrenheit is a little warmer than me, right? I'm 98.6, this is 100. And so it feels just a little bit warm to the touch. Um, and it's a big so, uh, 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 thermal mass, so um, I figured that would be a, a good test for it. So uh, I plan on putting this on the front panel. Um, the box has some nice BNCs in the back, so I can run in and out test leads and stuff, you know, voltages coming in and, and uh, uh, maybe, uh, you know, test, test currents coming out, something like that. Um, so that'll be pretty good. There's a little transformer inside. I can add circuitry inside if I want to. Um, so I might, I might build up a little board to go in here to have some type of uh, supplies available to me for future projects. Um, and I'm ex expecting to maybe take some uh, packing foam, you know, just regular old styrofoam or something. I'll, I'll root around and see what I, what I can do and put blocks of... Uh, put blocks of uh, foam inside and make an oven and then, then make the top open and close where I put things in from the top and then have some type of little test fixture in there, a test socket or a little test PC board area uh, to put circuits in. And then we can, uh, we can uh, ramp them up here. Um, if you haven't seen one of these uh, cartridges before, they're just a, a round cartridge. You hook up 120 volts to them and they get hot. Uh, this is like a 150 watt uh, cartridge and uh, you uh, just uh, put uh, 120 volts on it. And what this thing does is it has a relay in it. So the 120 volts is broken by a re relay and this relay will come on and off uh, depending on the temperature. So right now it is off because we're above the target temperature. And uh, if I uh, try to cool down the uh, Try to cool down there for thermistor. I'll kind of put a piece of metal in here and try to suck off some of the heat. Yeah, there's too much thermal. There's too much thermal mass here. I'm doing a little bit. I'm going down to 100. I don't know if you saw that little LED come on there, but that says uh, uh, state of the relay. If the relay is on or off. So anyway, uh, it'd be nice if this was centigrade, but hey, I can do the math, and uh, it's free. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll, uh, get this going and then people can ask me about, uh, thermal things. We'll, we'll, we'll do some of the, some of the, um, v voltage references that I had, uh, had, uh, PPM per degree C 
and we'll, we'll be able to test them in, in a little oven like this. We'll be able to ramp the temperature up and down and see if the uh, see if the temperature uh, as public pub, as pub publicated no <laughs> as published as published on the data sheet is correct or not. Somebody mentioned they knew of a circuit where you took um, two 5.6 zeners and a uh, 4146 and put them all together and that's supposed to be temperature compensated so um, maybe we can try that out in in the oven also so anyway uh, work in progress